Picture a shark longer than a bowling alley, with teeth bigger than your hand, and a bite as powerful as a T-Rex's. This toothy predator was called Megalodon. It was the biggest shark that ever lived, and fortunately for us, it went extinct almost three million years ago. But in the movie The Meg, one solitary megalodon is still lurking in the depths of the Pacific Ocean. It attacks a deep-sea submersible and terrorizes beachgoers until a team of intrepid marine biologists figure out how to defeat the giant shark and save the day. Now, megalodon was a real shark that measured up to 60 feet long. Most of its fossils date to about 15 million years ago, but about 2.6 million years ago, all evidence of megalodon vanished from the fossil record. However, the Meg floats the idea that an enormous, long-extinct shark is still cruising the deep sea. Is that even remotely possible? To be fair, the ocean is a big place. It covers 71% of Earth's surface and extends to depths of 36,200 feet. How do scientists know for sure that Megalodon really did go extinct and that there isn't a giant rogue shark hiding out there somewhere? The thing is, scientists are quite certain that Megalodon is long gone. Here's how they know. The most abundant Megalodon fossils are their teeth. The distinctive appearance of these teeth and where they're found helps scientists to reconstruct the extinct shark's size and to interpret its habits and where it lived. Sharks shed their teeth throughout their lifetime, so no teeth anywhere is a pretty good sign that the sharks aren't still around. Based on the distribution of their fossil teeth, they lived in tropical and subtropical waters around the world. So it's not like they were restricted to small, isolated ranges where a rogue survivor could hide out and possibly be overlooked. Their preference for warm waters also means that a lone shark probably wouldn't hide in cold ocean depths and would more likely feed near the surface where they'd be easily seen. And just think for a minute about how much food a 60-foot shark would need to survive. A hungry predatory beast the size of a bus would put a pretty big dent in marine ecosystems. And that's something that the commercial fishing industry would probably notice. Giant marine predators also leave behind recognizable marks in chewed bones and scars in survivors' bodies, or on their carcasses. But no such evidence has surfaced. There's no question that Megalodon was an impressive animal. But the only way that we would be seeing one now is in movies like The Meg, or as fossils in natural history museums. Let that sink in. I'm Mindy Weisberger for Live Science.